Sunday. <laughs> While the Instagram post from August 25th is believed to be the last time Gabby Petito was seen on social media, it may not have been the last time she was seen in public. A girl came in with long blonde hair with a guy and they ordered a milkshake and our employees had mispronounced her name. They said Gabby instead of Gabby, and, which is why it stood up. How's it going? Sonny Mason was working at a popular tourist shop, Victor Emporium in Idaho, where she believes she spoke with Gabby on either August 25th or 26th. The store is located about 30 miles from the Grand Tetons. I noticed her flower tattoo, which I've always really liked though, so we were talking a little about her tattoo. She says Gabby talked about visiting national parks with Yellowstone next on their tour. It was an ordinary conversation, the type Sunny has with many customers. But one thing did stand out, she says. It was Brian's behavior. It felt kind of weird because he, it felt like he almost prompted her to mention to me that she was engaged. And we get a lot of engaged couples and it doesn't usually come up that way. It just felt kind of odd, like, like it was like a reminder to her to be like, oh, look, we're engaged. It felt like he felt slighted for her not talking about her engagement or not like being excited. Odd was also how Gabby's mother, Nicole, would describe a text message she received from her daughter's phone on August 27th. It read, can you help Stan? I just keep getting his voicemails and missed calls. Stan is Gabby's grandfather, but her mother says Gabby never referred to him by his first name. It was out of character and concerning that as far as the Petito family knew, Gabby and Brian were still together on their trip. She was young. She was beautiful. She was chasing her dreams. She was excited. She was hopeful. She was in love. She wanted a partner. She wanted support. She wanted to be cherished. She trusted him. She was anxious. She was overwhelmed. She took responsibility. She was scared. She was manipulated. She was abused. She didn't deserve this ending. She didn't deserve the abuse. I will say her name. I will share her story. I will spread awareness. And I will use my voice because hers was silenced. Her life was stolen, but her legacy will live. Her blonde hair fell around her like a halo. She was an upstate New York angel without wings. Her smile shine brighter than a morning sunrise Her laughter put the songbird's voice to shame When you see a butterfly Or a leaping willow tree Or a rainbow or a wildflower On a grassy mountain peak She's home with Mother Nature, yes she